Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a new moon reading. This is for the 30th, August 30th, in particular. Okay, so this reading is not sign specific. It's not sign specific. This is a reading geared for around the new moon. We're just going to see what comes up. I already did one for the September full moon. I was called to do it like, I don't know, a week or two ago, whenever. But now I'm called to do this one uh, for the 30th. So let's just see what comes up. What are, where are we going to start today? Tonight? I think we'll start right here. What do we got for the 30th? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. What do we got for the 30th? Universal guidance of some sort. Some sort. I mean, I see 444. 444. Invisible forces? Well, of course. It's a new moon. Well, of course. All is well. Hmm. Universal protection. Pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to the signs. Rest and rejuvenation. <laughs> Take a break. Go within. Allow yourself time to feel. To listen. To receive the signs. So today is probably a day of recuperation. Of listening. Perhaps somebody needs to take a time out to meditate so that they can hear. You know, with all the busy world, all the busyness going around, sometimes you can't hear what they are trying to tell you. And with that 444, they're trying to tell you something. But you probably can't hear it. Let's take a time of silence to listen on this day. do this one first. What do we got for the 30th? Oh, well, there it is. A star. Oh, well, the star, this is, this is a, it's a, it's hopeful. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time of renewal. It's time to shine. It's a time of healing. This is a card of wish fulfillment and dream coming true. You know, wish for it. Wish for it. Now this, the, the new moons are about setting intentions. So take a minute. To set your intentions. To make your wish on this day. And that is no joke. In silence. Take a minute. Take some time to go within and make your wish. Today is the day to do it. Believe. You have to believe though. You do have to believe. If you don't believe that your wish will come true, then you are correct. What do we got? What do we got for the 30th? Reach out. 
We know you're reaching out right now for help. Remember I said the 444 universal protection? That's angels. We know you're reaching out right now for help due to the current situation. Support is as much about the physical act of accepting help where offered is it, as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that it's truly okay to accept support however it's presented to you. <laughs> Reach out to your guides. Reach out to God. I mean, this is heaven. Okay, reach out. Reach out to your people. Reach out to anybody. Reach out. Reach out at this time. And be prepared to accept. Study. Spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. You have to go within to do that. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn. Whether that's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new. This is an opportunity to expand your mind. So it's an opportunity for expansion. You know, spirits and guides are real. Just so you know. This is a blessing. Being blessed. Strength, compassion, this is the strength card. This is a card of confidence. This is a card of willpower and determination. A card of oneness, of mastery. Somebody is finding the force within them, perhaps, hopefully. It's a card of mastery. It's a card of strength and confidence and willpower. But we got somebody here that is feeling hopeless. This is hopelessness. Needing to find their strength to keep their head held high. Acceptance. Acceptance. We talked about that. Hmm. You know, accept, accepting a loss. Accepting that somebody is left or accepting that, you know, somebody isn't coming back. That could be the case. Perhaps there's a blessing in disguise here. Perhaps somebody has left and there's a blessing in disguise. <laughs> this is beginning to realize that there is another opportunity. So I feel like somebody is finding their that force within them to let go of something that has been emotionally unfulfilling. Victory, mental clarity. Somebody has received the clarity. It's like they've seen the truth. They've woken up. This is an awakening. Somebody is, and they've received it through silence. So somebody is receiving the clarity that they need through introspection. And it's like, and this is divinely guided. I really feel like this is a spirit or somebody that has passed away or something like that or angels or something that is bringing somebody the answer that they have been seeking somebody is getting the answer that they have been seeking and this answer is is allowing them to accept a loss 
after a period of hopelessness and a lack of strength, somebody is finding that force within them. This is, this is be, to re realize that there's another opportunity. And it's like they get this epiphany. Okay, this is epiphany. A mental clarity. That's an epiphany. It's like they get this new idea. They get this epiphany, this thought, this awakening that gives them the clarity that they need to stop focusing on this loss. Whatever it is. Oh, the Hierophant. This is God. Teacher. Beliefs. This is a higher power. They have guidance. This is guidance. Somebody has received the guidance. Or they're going to. But in order to receive it, you have to take a time out. So if you are looking for guidance, you will receive it. If you ask for it and you take a time out, reach out, ask for it, and listen through silence. And you will get the answer that you asked for. And that is what this is about. So if you are searching for an answer on this day, we're talking about the 30th here. I usually say the timing is fluid. You noticed I didn't say that at the beginning. If you didn't, I'm telling you now. I always say it. I didn't say it this time. I thought about it, but I didn't because I knew this. It's funny. I knew that this was specifically for the 30th. I am Taurus. Anyhow, somebody is going to receive the guidance that they need. But they will only receive it if they believe. This is a card of believing. Like I said, if they believe and they take a minute to reach out and ask their angels, 444, or their spirits or their, their, their guides, they will get the answer. But you will only get the answer if you take a time out, you listen in silence, and you believe. I'm talking to a Leo. I'm talking to a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm talking to a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm talking to a Taurus. Right now. That doesn't mean that if I didn't mention your sign, this isn't the case for you, no. Because you have all these elements within you. So this reading is for you. You were guided to this reading because you needed to hear it. Okay? This is your opportunity. This is your opportunity to get the answer that you've been seeking. Take a minute to ask And then take a minute to receive. If you push for an answer, you won't get it. You have to allow. And you have to wait for the answer to arrive. The answer may not arrive as quickly as you hoped. But the answer will come. If you ask... And you believe. Probably within one day of asking, you will receive the answer to the question that you asked. But you will have to be honest with yourself. And you will have to be ready to accept that you might need to find the strength to walk away from something that has been holding you back. So be ready to accept the answer that they give you. And that is what I have for the 30th. Good luck.